Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba Top Tip Tuesday. Today I'm focusing on feet. Uh, not because of any fetish in particular, but because it's important to look after your feet. They're probably the most active part of your body during a dive, and here are a few tips to look after them. As I said last week, clean your boots and your feet religiously before you put them on for a dive. Diving in some countries, I've actually found critters uh, on the inside of my boots and the last thing that you want to do is to squish something with more legs than you do right before a dive when you're putting your boots on and sand um, it is just another unwelcome guest it's coarse it's rough and irritating and it just gets everywhere i, I really don't like sand Use that little Velcro tab at the top of your zipper. Zips are designed to only move when you actually lift on that tab, but whilst diving, the water movement often lifts that tab up and activates the mechanism in the zipper, and that zipper then slides down. An open zipper lets water in and actually runs the risk of the entire boot just rubbing on your foot, or even worse, slipping off completely, taking your fin with it so you can only swim around inside circles. Secure that zipper down because it will drop at the worst time. That little notch on the back of your heels is to hold your fin heel strap in place. Too many divers I see just wrap the heel strap behind them and just cover that notch up with the heel strap, when the heel strap should actually go above that notch, a lot higher than some divers actually think. So when you're putting your fins on, double check that that strap is actually going above that notch so that it actually stays in place and can't slip off of your heel. Most open heel fin size charts are sized up as if you're wearing a normal pair of 5mm soft soled boots. If that's what you dive with, great. That makes your life a lot easier choosing fins online. But if you wear thin 3mm booties or chunky heavy rock boots and you're on like the extremities of a size chart, then you might want to go up or down a size accordingly because that's how size charts tend to be made as if you're wearing 5mm boots. Pay particular attention to the internal stitching on boots when you're buying them, or at least when you're putting them on. I used to have a pair of boots that would always rub my feet in one particular spot because one stitch was a little bit too proud, and of course, wet feet, repetitive motion, it used to rub. So make sure they're all nice and soft, and if they rub once, then fix it then and there, otherwise it's going to become a recurring problem. Use something like Aquashore to, uh, to make it smooth again. If it's too awkward to reach that stitch or wherever, or you just have delicate feet overall, then just wear a pair of socks. Every day we wear socks with shoes, well, most days, depending on where you live. Um, but as soon as you get to the dive site, a lot of people just ditch the concept of socks completely, unless they're in a dry suit. If your boots are a little uncomfortable, uh, a little bit too big, then a thin pair of socks can make a huge difference. Dive boots don't have as much grip as you might think they do on the underside. Most diving boots do have tread that's intended for wet decks, but you can still slip very easily on a wet deck. Don't think that they're like ninja boots and you can stick to walls and run around in them. And take particular care with slick surfaces like metal ladders, some decks on boats, large rocks around the shoreline because they're often very, very slippery even if you're wearing decent boots. I tend to prefer a soft sole boot. Um, I prefer the movement in my foot that they allow, but in rocky places, one decent sized stone can really ruin your day. So if you're diving in a spot with sharp rocks, walk like you're barefoot. Or if you dive there a lot, just get some boots with a, with a hard sole to protect the underside of your foot. Hard soles can also help if your fins don't extend very far towards your heel. If the sole of your fin ends too far forwards on your foot and you keep getting cramp in your foot, it could be that your fins are just making your foot bend in the middle and a good solid soled boot might help. That's or just a better pair of fins that does extend further towards your heels. And finally, your boots are a great place to store some bits when you're traveling. Before you pack them in your bag, store some bits inside of your boots because 
that empty space inside of your, your boots can just waste space inside of your bag. Nothing too large, obviously, but I always pop things like uh, defog and small bits inside of my boots when I'm traveling on for a journey. Just remember what you put in which boot uh, when you're looking for things, because yeah, I quite often misplace things and then suddenly remember, oh yeah, it's in one of my boots. And there we have it, 10 top tips about your diving boots. Um, I'll be the first to admit that I didn't think that I'd get a full 10, and arguably some of them were about fins to a certain degree, but hopefully some of them will help you out. If you have any tips though for other divers, then let them know down in the comments below, and remember to head over to simplyscuba.com for your latest diving gear. Thank you so very much for watching everybody, and of course, safe diving. <laughs>